Hi, Paula. Hello. How are you? All right. Yourself? Doing fine. Thanks. So, uh, is fourth grade chat just finishing up? Yeah, I, I told them I wasn't going to participate much, though, because I was looking at your uh, class stuff and at your yeah. wiki, and so I just um, jumped on for a few minutes and then said, that's it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> what that may be something else that you talk about with the uh, pre-service students in here is your fourth grade chat. Okay, great. Yeah, educational chats are an excellent thing for them to get involved in. A lot of good learning. Yeah, we uh, they uh, Google hung out with uh, Lisa Dabs. Oh, about a month and a half ago. Uh huh. So now they get to. Chit chat with you three ladies. Okay, sounds like fun. About how yeah. many students do you have? Twenty two this semester. Oh, very good. That's about the average number. Uh huh. That I'll have each semester, and then uh, then I have the online version. It's uh, I've got four students in that. So that one's a hundred percent online. Yeah. Although I kind of take the uh, flipped classroom approach with that, mm -hmm. do some a video kind of to help introduce each week of it. And I do have this recorded on YouTube, so I can send you guys the link if you want it. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Sorry. No, you're all right. Mm. We're, all these students hurt. can tell you about the uh, your. Coffin, shoot, these guys have been, seems like, got the plague going around campus. Yeah, there's, um, in New Orleans right now, this is uh, what they refer to as heavy allergy season with all of the um, pollen and all the stuff. And actually, we've been doing well with, um, we haven't had much rain, although it started storming this evening because we have that cold front coming in. Mm -hmm. So our weather is a changing. Yeah, we, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, we were upper 60s yesterday. Now we're in the 50s today. It's supposed to be back up in the 70s tomorrow, or by end of the week, or like Saturday. There's supposed to be a 30 degree drop between Saturday and Sunday. Wow, sounds like New Orleans. Yeah. When our weather changes, it seems to change very drastically. Well, I just told Karen that the invite was sent. I'm sure Erin will join in a little bit later. She's just getting back from dance class yeah. with her, her girls. So. <laughs> yeah, she's got to be mom part of the time. That's right. There's, there's McTeach coming on. <laughs> Hello, well, she Karen. Is, oh, is she on there now? Hey, yeah. yeah. There she is. I'm here. Hi, Karen. Hey, Long time no see. Hey, Paul. How's it going? I'm real well. How about for you? That's can't complain. That's good. Yep. You can see over my shoulder. There you go. Here you go. Uh -huh. Oh, good grief! <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn the laptop so you don't have to look at yourselves. Awesome. Well, um, it's almost 8 o'clock, so I'll go ahead and get things started. Um, we'll turn the camera on the rest of the class here in a moment, but I'll let you two ladies take turns introducing yourselves. They have access to the back channel to ask questions as we co kind of go along, too, and I'll monitor it as well, or moderate it as soon as I can, too, while you ladies are talking. But one thing that... Um, I know I put in the chat for you to think about is just talk about what you where you guys see education going in a 21st century you know what a 21st century classroom looks like um, and I'll also go ahead and give you the last question that for you to answer in our discussion and that's how do you choose to matter as an educator okay. nice you know from that face group Facebook group Right. Choose to matter. Choose to matter. That's a good group. Karen's got the cool 
bulletin board thing going. <laughs> so, all right, I will just turn this mic up a little for him, but I will turn it over and one of you ladies can go first. Go for it, Paula. Okay. Hi, everyone in um, Dean Mance's class. My name is Paula Noggle, and I am a veteran uh, fourth grade teacher in a suburb of New Orleans, Louisiana. Actually, this is year number 37 for me. So I've been around quite a while. I've seen lots of changes in the public education system. Uh, I think back to my first class that I started with a long time ago and I have to laugh at how absolutely awful I was <laughs> as a teacher back then. And um, the reason that I stay in the classroom right now is because I am 100 percent hooked on technology integration. It is what makes me absolutely love going into my classroom every day. And my students, even though they're fourth graders and we have to we are limited with a lot of things because of their age. There are websites out there that I can use with them that are um, designed for students who are under the 13 age limit. And I saw by looking through your class wiki that you are members of an Edmodo group. And I use Edmodo with my students as my learning management system with my fourth graders. And guess what? They think they're big kids because they like how it looks like Facebook. So they love that. We Skype about once a week with other classes around the United States and the world. And this year we're actually starting to do some Google Hangouts. So um, it's all, and then they have their, their own kid blogs and things like that. So that's what I do. <clears throat> oh, and I teach, I'm sorry, I teach math, science, and social studies this year. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to uh, follow that. Oh, um, come on, Karen. <laughs> um, I'm going to preface this by apologizing in advance because my cat has discovered that I am in the den and um, anytime I vacuum the floor in here, he comes in and he claws it up, so I might have to throw things. Um, <laughs> anyway, my name's... Uh, my name is Karen McMillan. I teach um, the homeroom seventh grade teacher at a nearby Catholic school. Very nearby, actually. I could throw a baseball from my bedroom window and hit my classroom, um, which is great because I have an 80 second commute. Um, but this is my seventh year um, in the classroom, and I'm I'm still not sure this is the right place for me. Um, I'm leaning towards working more with teachers. Um, I really like um, helping teachers learn new technologies um, because honestly it's a little bit more challenging to teach the teachers to use technology than it is to teach my students um, who are 12 and 13 years old. Um, I I love Dean's question uh, using the why how we choose to matter um, in our classroom with our kids. Um, are we answering that now, Dean, or are we holding off to that for that? I'll leave it up to you. You can choose. You can answer now or address it at the end. Okay. Um, well, a little bit about my thoughts on 21st century teaching. Um, I, I think the most important thing that I can um, teach my kids is how to be adaptable. Um, how to be willing to change and roll with the tide, so to speak, um, because technology changes so quickly. Uh, it, if they don't know how to um, adapt with the change and um, kind of roll with the punches, they're going to get lost. Um, things change really quickly in technology, as I'm sure we've all noticed. Um, what was your favorite app today is going to be the app that tomorrow is disappearing. So you need to be able to figure out, okay, well, what am I going to use now? Um, and I, I'm not sure what else to say about that. I, I'm, I don't have a lot of technology in my classroom, but that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm not a, a techie kind of teacher. Um, I have to use what I have available. And I, I think we have a 21st century classroom because 
um, we we can do a lot with a little, I guess. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say, I guess. <laughs> My